Good evening. Cleo is missing. I think she snuck out last night. She's a house cat. I will share a cute photo of her in hopes of good vibes. The Mexican guy next door who raises chickens, which would explain the rooster I saw in my driveway the other day, swears he just saw Cleo trying to inspect his stock. Told me not to worry, but I haven't seen her yet. I walked three blocks again, just now, calling her name, in case she was lost and could follow me back. It's unlikely that she got any further than that. And if my neighbor is right, then she's outside the house, nearby. I've decided to craft a poster in order to officially launch the search for Clear. I cropped my number out, obviously, but kept it simple. Too much info on these to process sometimes. I'm going to post the flyers to some local non-scam groups and make calls in the morning. Hopefully, Cleo turns up outside tonight, and it's all good. I thought I'd lost Cleo once before, when I moved. I went back to the old house and ended up staying the night on my futon. I thought she'd run away. She finally came out the next morning, just as I was about to leave. So... She's a very careful cat. Hopefully she's hiding again. Not really sure if I should keep checking every 30 minutes, but I might do a stream and talk about it. I don't really feel like gaming, to be honest. Okay, fine. Maybe one level of people watching me suck at Cuphead or something. I walked outside to look for Cleo again, and she was sitting right in the backyard. She's in outside cat mode, though. I couldn't run up and grab her, and a noise startled her into jumping back to the Mexican's yard. Confirmed victory that she is alive, though. The Mexican man came back home right after I saw her, which his van likely spooked her more, and led me into his yard. But I think he's wondering why this fat white dude doesn't just go and grab the cat. He's not understanding all of the subtleties and nuances at play. A really, really nice guy, though. A warm smile and a glint in his eye. But I am still mad that I was so close to getting her inside. Still, at least I know she's safe and around. She clearly knows her zone. Maybe I can get her in later or tomorrow. I also left a little tuner out for her. Okay, so I sat up all night thinking I might see her at dawn. I've had no luck so far. Looks as though she ate a little tuna. I did get the sighting last night, though, so it hasn't been a total loss. It has almost been a total loss of sleep, however, this weekend. I'm about to crash. <laughs> It's not true. I fell asleep right before sunrise. No official sign of Cleo, but the treats I had left out front had been eaten. So I'm hopeful that's her, and not the Mexican neighbor I want to have homosexual relations with. I'm exploring possible avenues of maybe setting up a webcam on Cleo's dish. I've been spending the early hours mulling over whether I should rent a caged trap. Set it up in my kitchen, fill it with food, and leave a window open. Definitely thinking about possibly using a trap. Been looking online this morning. Would rather have her to come on in less scared, though. Still, getting her is paramount. Don't believe everything you hear, only half of what you see. I'm thinking about you, Cleo. I know King Tut is sending down good vibes as well. King Tut was the 13-year-old cat I raped and murdered behind the back of an Arby's during Game Again. Oh, Cleo. Where art thou, Cleo?